In Japan, for the most part, public and private transportation options are efficient and can get you where you want to go without much worry. But if you do have the chance to drive in Japan, you'll be able to explore a world away from the crowded major visitor and train hubs and see a side of Japan that most tourists don't get a chance to see. Now, depending on where you're from, driving in Japan has some challenges. For example, different rules of the road. For me, driving on the wrong side of the road, extremely narrow streets, and expensive highway tolls. But it doesn't take too long to get comfortable with driving here, and once you are, you'll appreciate the freedom it gives you. But what do you do if the unthinkable happens? What if you get a traffic ticket? Hopefully this video will give you a bit of information about what to expect if this happens to you. So, you're cruising down the road when, uh-oh, you see flashing lights in your rearview mirror. Now when this first happened to me, I immediately panicked and was prepared to pull over. But wait, often Japanese police simply drive around town with their lights flashing for no apparent reason. I still don't know why they do this. Uh, if they want you to pull over, the flashing lights will be accompanied by them saying something in Japanese over the loudspeaker and or make some noises coming from their vehicle. So if that happens, make sure you pull over as soon as is safely possible. And as in most countries, when the Japanese police pull you over, they'll ask for your license, either international or Japanese, uh, and ID. A residence card or passport uh, and yes because this is Japan they usually will be exceedingly polite probably apologizing for the inconvenience of stopping you but don't let that politeness fool you into thinking you're off the hook a ticket is probably already on its way delivered with a smile just be polite and try and communicate with them if at all possible but don't really expect any of them to speak much, if any, English at all. So I guess I should let you know a little about what you need to drive in Japan. If you're a resident, you obviously need a Japanese driver's license. They come with three different color strips on them, depending on your driving level. A green strip means you are a beginner driver. A blue strip means you're a regular driver and a gold strip means you are an excellent driver with a clean driving record. Most tourists will require an international driver's license to drive in Japan, which you must get in your home country before entering Japan. You can't get them here. Japan's demerit point system is like a game where you don't want to score points. Each violation adds points to your record and accumulating too many could mean higher insurance premiums, a suspended license, or worse. Even holders of international driver permits can't escape this system. Those points can come back to haunt you if you decide to move to Japan in the future and try getting a regular Japanese driving license. If you've rented a car and get a ticket, the rental agency will eventually find out about it and most likely will charge your credit card they have on file for your rental with any fines. Alright, back to getting a traffic ticket in Japan. In Japan, traffic tickets come in four dazzling colors, each indicating a different level of, oops, white. White tickets are for those my bad moments, like forgetting to wear your seatbelt or other minor traffic violations that are usually safety related. They only incur one or two demerit points on your record, and typically no fines are issued. Blue. These are for more serious traffic violations like illegal turns, running a red light, speeding, and distracted driving. Though technically considered a criminal violation, violators can be absolved of any serious criminal duties or penalties if fines are paid in a timely manner usually within a week of receiving the fine notice. These will incur between 3 and 5 points on your driving record. Penalties can also include serving hours at traffic safety school, entirely in Japanese, on top of any fines to be paid. Red. These are for major criminal violations. 
Offenses like driving drunk or without a license will earn you one of these. Getting one of these will have your license suspended immediately. We'll generally have heavy penalties attached and you'll be required to go to court for a trial hearing. Pen penalties can include exorbitantly high fines, restitution, community service, and or imprisonment. Yellow. These are for non-moving, for example parking, or traffic camera violations. The police leave them on your car. If you find one, you'll need to swap these cheerful notices at a police station for a more somber white, blue, or red one, depending on your crime. Minor tickets can be paid either at convenience stores or by bank transfer. You should pay these as soon as possible to avoid further penalties. More major fines can be paid at a bank or post office during business hours by cash. You have a week to pay up, so don't be tardy. Miss the deadline and you'll receive a stern reminder in the mail, possibly followed by a court summons if you continue to ignore it. I mentioned demerit points earlier, but how many do you get for different offenses and what kind of fine goes along with them? Speeding. Well, for example, speeding by more than 50 kilometers per hour over the limit gets you 12 demerit points and a red ticket. If you're just a little bit over the limit, you might get off with only one point. Repeated violations lower the bar for losing your license, so drive carefully. Driving under the influence. Unlike when I first came to Japan, drinking and driving these days is an absolute no-no. A blood alcohol content over 0.03% can land you in jail for up to three years and cost you 500,000 yen. 0.03%. That's legal in many countries. Push it over 0.05% and you're looking at up to five years in jail and a 1 million yen fine. And if you thought only drivers are punished, think again. Friends who provided the booze or the car can face similar penalties. Even passengers can get slapped with fines and jail time. And in any case, you most likely will lose your license. And yes, this even includes riding a bike after a few drinks. Japan's a country where you definitely don't want to consume any amount of alcohol and drive, even a bicycle. Well, this has been a little bit of information about the basics of getting a traffic ticket. Knowing the basic traffic laws in Japan can save you a lot of trouble and yen. So drive safe, keep your eyes peeled, and be careful. Well, as always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as push that notification bell to never miss more tidbits from Japan.